Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Right, so what you're looking at is a Kingsway kit um, and I'm going to now start on the back scene for Jarrah Road. Um, so what I've done is I've bought a few of these um, Kingsway kits and I'm just using the fronts only so it's going to be a, an ultra low low relief if you know what I mean because I can't have the walls no wider than probably six millimeters you'll see as we progress further on with this build so yep so that's what I'm going to do I'm cheating a bit a little bit um, because it's quickness I'm after um, I always planned to do this for the back scene um, it's just for quickness um, yep yeah, so as you can see I made a start so I'm cutting out all the bits as it would say in the instructions and um, I'm going to start on the station parade and uh, all this is uh, the instructions for the station parade so what I'm going to be focusing on is just this front um, yeah, because as you know, there's not a lot of room um, going along that Chara Road, but I will be um, highlighting the kit um, as I've already done down this edge. I've scribed it because I'm going to paint these edges, um, possibly the same colour as I've done the station edges because the kit, the edges, go edge to edge and you'll see the card and um, what I want to do is just paint the edge as well once it's all done so I'll cut out all these windows as per instructions cut out the fronts and set the um, card up so that sits roughly 6 millimeters or less off of the back seam board um, but um, yeah um, these are really good kits I've, I've never built one of these yet so it'll be interesting to see if this card um, does fade over time um, if it don't then I'll be able to use similar kits uh, for when I come to do um, the back scene for New Hustle because um, as you know the, the back scene along there is just faded where the sun's always on it so we're, we're going to see how we get on with these bit of a, an experiment this but uh, we shall see right this this is going to take some time cutting out all these windows um, I've just realized that the car that uh, Kingsway use is the same card that I use for my um, buildings. It's the craft card, um, so it's quite soft cut through. But uh, and it's going to take a while to cut through all these windows. Now, the other thing I've noticed is because I'm having to cut all these out and I'm not using brick paper to fold around the edges I'm going to have to paint all these edges that I'm going to cut out before I put the windows in um, otherwise you're going to see the white card and uh, uh, <laughs> it would spoil it I think so I've got to mix up some very light brown for these edges that I'm cutting out now and some sandstone colour for the windowsill ledges so yep I thought that this was going to be a nice quick kit and just slap on the back of the back seam board but I don't think it's going to be like that It's quite tough to cut through this card, I 
because you've got a card, another layer of card on top. So you're cutting through probably 2.5 mils worth of card in total. But we should see what the end result is going to look like once it's done. Well, that took a while. I mean, <laughs> I've never cut out so many windows in one go. Normally, I'm used to cutting out, at the most, five or six windows. But, uh, yeah, so that's the windows cut out. It did take a while to clean up the edges as well. So now, um, following the kit instructions, I'm putting on these stone faces now. And what I've done is I've prescribed them when they were together in the card. And then I've just cut them out. And then I'm going to glue them as per instructions, like so. And then, as you can see, it's like a 3D coming um, through when you start sticking all these little pieces on. So that's where we are at the moment. Um, I think <laughs> I thought to myself, buy a kit, it'll save you loads of time. Well, that's not happening. Um, yes, I don't have to make a full building, but um, yeah, I do like it when it comes together though. I'll just glue that on there, make sure it's flush with the bottom because that's where the dating point is. It's always from the base of the building. I'll just go on, just squeeze that further forward, that's it. Make sure it's smack in the middle. Yeah. So the shops you get with this kit are, are not very good, they're, they're, they're pretty modern. So I'm going to pick out. Um, three of them, uh, probably Jack's Cobblers, um, two-way books probably, and the music um, stand here. Or I may even do do that one, yeah. And then they get glued onto the back, like so, flush with the base. So you've got that. 3D look again as if the, the shops are set back and uh, yeah so I'm going to have to make up my mind which three I want out of this kit um, as for the windows um, the windows are fairly basic as you can see but that's all you need that's all you need for a a, a backboard if, if you like um, so we've got chimney stacks as well whether I'll have the space, because I'm only making these uh, no more than 10 mil thick, you'll see that when we come to glue these to the um, the base, uh, not the baseboard, the backboard, as it were. So, right. So I've cut all the f strips now for the the front fascia. So what I'm doing is I need to get rid of these white edges because you're going to see them. And um, what I'm doing is a little bit of brown paint along there and then wiping off the excess glue. Glue? Paint, idiot. Right, so I've cut off all the fascia pieces uh, which go in between the windows. And um, what I'm doing now is as I'm painting them up before I glue them on. Um, as you can see there, I've already done one edge. Now it's half left it long so we can handle it. Um, the colour I'm using, um, it's, it's a matter of choice. I've tried to get the, the brown as close as I can. I'm using a matte 70 and uh, I'm just brushing it on and then wiping it off as quick as I'm putting it on. Trying not to get any onto the bricks themselves because the paint does take some rubbing off if you get any on like oh, I've just done there. But if you're quick enough, you can get it off. And then you just take the paint off the edge. 
the idea is we don't want to see any card even though it's gone on a back scene as it were so there we go so that's what I'm doing and then what we'll do we'll just glue these pieces in once the paint's dry um, <laughs> I've also got to do all these window edges as well in there so I'll do that side, the top side and the down this side, so I'll do the three edges in the brown and I'll find a cream paint to do the window sills so this is going to take a while to do but I think it is worth doing this, painting up the card before we go any further and uh, like I said, so putting it on and then wiping it off as quick as you put it on because you don't want that brown to be too dark you need to keep it hopefully when that dries out it'll go a little bit lighter than that because it's wet it looks dark and then we'll just carry on right so that's all the edges painted all the edges of the card um, inside the windows um, the ledges inside these edges as well and all the fascia stones as well so they're all painted so I'm just gluing on the fascias now um, and then we shall have a look at the windows um, I'm not sure what to do about the windows um, it is only a back scene so if I put glazed windows in that means I'm gonna to have to put something inside the building <laughs> uh, you know what I'm like um, but I think as it's just a fascia building I'm not gonna bother I'm gonna use the card kit windows and uh, that should be that otherwise I mean how far do you go I mean <laughs> for something like this I think it's enough really but um, yeah but we shall see so now I'm painting the fascia panel which goes around the station parade here see so this white bit here will have this um, fascia panel put on as before, I'm just painting these card edges. There's so many card edges that are exposed. And uh, if you don't paint them, um, you'll just end up with white card edges everywhere. So hopefully this will um, hide the card edges. It's a quite a good match, as you can see. It's a quite good match to the original colour because there's the original colour there. If I just lift that up and show you. So there's the original colour and there's the painted on colour. Um, it's semi matte 314 I'm using for this. And um, yeah. So we shall just leave that to dry and then we can glue that on slowly getting there while I'm waiting for the paint to dry I thought I'd glue these windows in now it says in the instructions to use some um, clear tape um, but um, if you use clear tape it could go yellow um, over time so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to glue these in without the clear tape um, I found that set a little bit tricky because you've got to line up the middle windows first um, get them spot on and then the, the, the rest of the windows shall follow so here it goes put in the center window
wind them two up let the paper hang as you can see because you we know with this stuff it does tend to go off pretty quick so we'll get that one perfect and then the rest should line up you may have to tug it here and there but there we go Start to look like a building now with the windows in. Right, so the pelmet is uh, touch dry now, so we can um, glue this on. So this is going to be tricky as well. Do the same as what I did with the windows. Let the middle touch first and then we can iron out the rest as we go. So we'll just get something to push that towards those columns. And then just let the rest drop into place. There we go, that's the pelmet done. Right, so I've stuck on the ledge and now I'm just painting it black. As you can see it's black already, but it, uh, it's very, very faded. So I'm just um, painting it black just to basically hide the cardboard edges. And um, well, to finish it off, really, I thought I'd paint it on the building rather than separately because then I don't have to hold that piece of card while I'm painting it. Yeah, I enjoy kit building because uh, you don't really have to think about sizes and things, it's already done for you. So all you've got to do is just stick it together and paint it I guess. Unless you want to kit bash it, but uh, I'll be leaving it as it is. As you can see, the building is standing up by itself. Um, what I've done is I've made the side walls and stuck them on. Uh, the side walls are only 10 millimeters deep. And uh, what I'm doing now is this is where I disregard the instructions and decide to add my own little detail to this. Um, low relief building. I'm using Medcalf paving slabs to cap off the top of this building and then once they dry I'm going to paint them in a sandstone colour to match the, um, the, the fascia that we put on earlier. Um, Medcalf um, slabs I'm using are the actual small ones you get in the pack and uh, I use a rocker card glue to stick them down with you can see it's it's on there so and that's what I'm doing and that just highlights it as you can see just gives it that little detail so we shall see what look right so here we are we've moved on a little bit um, uh, 
Yep, the, the capping has, has come along quite well. It does look like a bunch of sandbags running across the top there at the moment, but um, once they are painted in the um, sandstone colour, they will look pretty good. Um, the choice of shops, well, there was nine to choose from, and I've picked uh, Jack's Cobblers, 12 Bar Music, and Al Maid. Alamade. Alamade? Yeah, Alamade. So there's the three shops. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm focusing on the chimney pots. There's um, four chimney pots in the picture, but um, yep, yeah, so there they are. There's, there, there's, there's the chimney stacks. So what I'll do is I'll just pop in the one chimney pot. And, uh, and we'll glue it on. All I've done there is, um, while I'm cutting away, there's loads of scrap cards. So I put four pieces together, or three pieces together, and then we'll just roll it up in the bricks that you get with the kit. So I've cut that to the height that I want, which is roughly about 20 mil, and then we'll glue these on. Once they're glued on, we can paint the sandbags and the capping stones at the same time, the same colour. So, yeah. So, we're getting there. So, I've come to the last chimney, and I thought I'd uh, show you this before we go any further. Um, as you can see, there's a toothpick, and I've wrapped the chimney card around the toothpick, as you can see there. And then we push that into the chimney breast, and then just push it home. And then once that glue goes, goes off it'll be quite um, solid so I think me I think you've seen me do this before but uh, well, that's the chimney breast and point done all in one and I've just wiped off the excess glue and uh, obviously when you're looking that way on you'll see well because of the depth of the building you won't see all of the chimney pots if you're looking see what I mean and it's only 10 mil deep this building so it's not like you would see all of the chimneys if you know what I mean right so we'll glue these on and we'll paint up the sandbags and then we're done I have placed this building temporarily at the New Hassle city centre um, just to give me an idea of what I want to do all the way along that back scene there especially beyond the cityscape um, the cityscape I like that but um, it has faded a little bit over the years so what I might do I might just touch that up with paint um, but as for the um, Pico back scenes down the bottom there, they have well and truly faded away. So, I do like that building. Um, it was a interesting kit to put together. Um, and uh, I made a few changes to it, as you have seen in the video. And uh, yeah, I quite like that. But uh, I was hoping to get um, the back scene board done this week. But I think I've spent too much time just on one kit. Um, obviously there'll be about another three or four more of these to go along for Jarrah Road. Right, so I think that is all from me this week. Oh, except for one thing. Uh, don't forget the competition is still on to win that train set. If you're interested, um, it's, you can um, enter the competition on video 401 which is last week's video and that will explain the rules of the competition if you want to go on ahead and win yourself a train set right so I think that's definitely all from me this week except for one thing I'd like to thank Stephen of Heritage Railway for sending me this bus the Newcastle trolley bus 
So thank you very much, Stephen. Very much appreciate. Um, I've got a little bit of a collection going on with these Newcastle buses. So I've got one there, and I've got another one over there. I think it's going to the same destination. But then again, buses come in threes, don't they? Thanks again for watching. Till next time. Ta for now. Bye.